I'm Hunter Perret, a business owner here in Acadiana. I've known Gerald um, nearly my entire life. Our paths have crossed several times uh, on nonprofit organizations, um, and uh, he has served in several capacities uh, in support of Miles Perret Cancer Services since its inception. Hi, I'm Candace Perrette, and I'm a practicing attorney and business owner in St. Landry and Lafayette Parishes, and I'm also a former city attorney for the town of Barneville. I've known Gerald Boudreaux for about seven years now. Uh, our family is heavily involved with Miles Perrette Cancer Services, and every year at Games of Acadiana, which is the Cancer Center's biggest fundraiser, I work side by side with Gerald Boudreaux, and he's always the first man there and always the last man to leave and he works all day tirelessly leading cancer patients all through the Cajun Dome all day long. I've known Gerald nearly my entire life. When I was in high school um, we were a big swimming family and my dad um, and our team saw a need for having an indoor pool and they contacted Gerald who was head of Parks and Recreation going on 29 years I think now this year. Uh, Gerald saw the need and saw the need for our community to have an indoor pool and now um, he got the building of Earl J. Chris built and um, since that time thousands of, of swimmers, uh, both summer swimmers and competitive swimmers at Acadiana have gotten the, uh, to utilize those facilities thanks to Gerald and his leadership. And Gerald's community involvement is so diversified from serving on the board at, at Lourdes to um, nonprofit organizations and his support of his church, Immaculate Heart of Mary. Um, He's very diversified and um, in the causes that he has supported, he really is a, a pillar of the community. As such, I can't think of anyone better to support us in Baton Rouge. I think he's one of the most amazing people. He's so proactive. He's one of those people that gets the job done. He doesn't just talk about it. And um, I just, I can't think of a better person um, to serve our, our community. I've seen Gerald, what I consider outside of his local element, as a referee in the SEC for basketball for a number of years and then as the head of the SEC referees working for the commissioner of the SEC. And Gerald had 50, 60 referees working under him. He had a, an office in Alabama. He had to facilitate you know, multi-state involvement. He had to facilitate and lead several impressionable young referees who are making big game time decisions, you know, night in, night out uh, for heavy stakes college basketball. He did it uh, flawlessly, effortlessly. Uh, those leadership skills, which I was able to see pretty intimately hands on, you know, over the years, uh, lets me know that Gerald is a perfect candidate to lead uh, any multitude of people in Baton Rouge. I can speak to Gerald's uh, infectious personality and how he makes everyone he meets uh, feel like family. Um, it's a wonderful attribute. I'll never forget uh, a couple of years ago, both of his twin daughters graduated from college in the nursing program, and they invited us to a function, a family function, and there was, I mean, there were several hundred people there, all family and friends, and everyone that was there, Gerald and Carlos took the time to make them feel like they were family. We felt like uh, we were a part of the crew, not even knowing his uh, daughters that well. And he has an effect on people. He meets somebody for a period of time. He assesses their needs. Uh, he listens. He fulfills their needs and makes them feel like a member of his family. That's such an invaluable asset, and it's been a comforting thing for us. I can't think of anyone who is more committed to serving our community than Gerald Boudreaux. I think that it, it takes a unique personality. It takes, a, it takes obviously an organized person. It takes a leader. It takes someone who can uh, motivate with service and lead people. Uh, and he encompasses those characteristics. And I think that um, he's been given these you know, God-given gifts. And uh, we support that uh, those gifts would be better served in this type of legislative capacity, so we, um, we wholeheartedly support Gerald. I can't think of anyone better.